Ah, right, Shalom. Who praise the hour? Washem, Yahushab, Washem, Hara, Kakadosh. Double wonders unto your apostles and elders, great millstone who well. And Shalom to the whole four left. Um, this is a prophecy and news, right? Video from the day. Uh, and this, um, I got two articles. Is it dealing with one of the main prophecies in these last days, being the mark of the beast, as spoke of in the Holy Bible? All right. Mainly pertaining to um, Revelations, the thirteenth chapter, and um, this is one of the three key prophecies in these last days to look to. All right, you know, uh, you know, dealing with the RFID chip, World War Three. And the return of Yahweh Shai, uh, which is the administration of um, the deliverance of the nation of Israel, but also the ending of this uh, society as you know it. Basically, the transition of power, okay? Through World War Three, leading into Yahweh Shai's return and deliverance of the nation of Israel, okay, who today are known as the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, but also scattered throughout all the earth, right? So they're looking like you have our people from our lineage that look like, uh, you know, so-called white people, so-called um, Chinese people, so on and so forth, but their spirit and their lineage goes back to Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So... Getting into this is from the Daily Star. The reads humans to download their <laughs> excuse me their souls onto microchips so they can live forever. All right, and this is, you know, this is some bullshit. Cause for one, you know, Esau has no no is never really had no um. Really, you know, souls and spirits, that's that spooky stuff, right? As far as Esau's concerned, we don't have um, souls and spirits, all right? So, and that's even why it's, it's in all caps. And then when we read the subtitle, it, it, it's um, in quotation marks, all right? So people will be able to download their souls onto microchips and plant it into... Um, Another body and live forever, a technology expert has claimed, right? Richard Skellett, a founder of Digital and uh, Anthropologist, all right, and an expert for future of work, has warned of a future in which British workers have chips inserted underneath their skin. The process has already been trialed with company bio, Biotech fitting 150 um, implants in the UK. So there's 150 people presently chipped in the UK and then some because you know people are biohacking and whatnot. But through this company, 150 people have been chipped. And Sweden based firm Biohacks told the Sunday Telegraph that it is in discussions with several British companies about microchipping. All right. So even Sweden's in talks as well. But as humans and machines become more in sync, it could be it could open up all sorts of possibilities, including being able to live forever. A possibility, all right. But you know these people are, are, are silly, all right, because there's no possibility anyway. The Most High is, is the Father of Spirits, all right. That once the spirit has gone to the heavenly world and the heavenly realm, the third heaven is a rap man. You're receiving your judgment and you're waiting in your lot to come back and play out that said judgment, all right? Speaking to Daily Star Online, Mr. Skellett explained, there's a lot of talk at the moment about microchipping employees and there are some companies, uh, some companies that are actually doing that. I can see benefits from it, but also opens, but also opens up a whole roster of other things like being reborn. All right, and it's quite funny because this is Esau's take on his new world order. You know, in order to enter his world, you know, you have to be born again via the RFID chip. All right, which is really a play on the left hand side of you know dealing with the left on the left hand side of this word, man. The microchips from biotech are similar to those for pets and are implanted in the flesh between the thumb and forefinger. 
chips will be able to store medical data and other personal information all right biometric uh, that's why it's dealing with the word biometrics all right because bio is dealing with body and metrics is measurements so what's the measurements it could be your eye color because that's a measurement um, uh, in terms of a measure of color all right uh you know your height in terms of you know height um and then your weight in terms of measurement in terms of weight etc cetera, etc cetera, all right and that's why it's going to have that information medical data and inf personal information and also your finances you know what's the word um fall in line of personal information as well all right so these are images that are coming up you know people plugged in people may soon be able to get a download and sold onto microchips Implant workers are already filled with microchips. Mrs. Scale added, living forever might sound crazy at the moment because the technology isn't quite there, but you already have the technology to clone. All right? So they're saying they can clone bodies, but then they just download. We want to download your consciousness. So you clone the body and then continue. Sort of like the movie. I forgot what movie it was, man. Um, I think it was Sixth Day, where the guy kept cloning himself. And one of the clones um he did it didn't quite work out um and then he had to, and he basically wound up getting his, that was his last clone yeah yeah it was the sixth day a world in the very near future <laughs> and you see how near it is in which cattle fish and even family pet family pet can be cloned but cloning humans is illegal that is until family man adam gibson comes home from work one day to find a clone has replaced him taken from him his family and plunged into a sinister world he doesn't understand gibson must not only save himself from the assassins he must now destroy him to protect their secret but uncover who and what is behind the horrible things happening and um I'm trying to find a guy it's tony um goldwin i believe Yeah, this is him, and that's when he comes out all half done, because <laughs> the process wasn't fully, you know, carried out. So he was the the mastermind behind, behind it. You know, it's lucky if I if I spoiled it for anyone. Uh, but yeah, check that movie out. Nonetheless, it's lucky again, man. I, you know, I should have you know put a disclaimer for a spoiler. But anyway, going back. All right, so you see that they they've already done the thing with predictive programming of the media, so the idea in the minds of the people, so mm, we could live forever, and I could never have no blemishes on my skin, you know, I could look perfect, you know, and um get a new body, you know, as long as you're rich, that's the thing that he failed to mention. The only thing is that something may be. Uh, an exact replica in terms of DNA but it may be nothing like you because we are made up of both nature and nurture right well I would say the nurture is all to do with learning you are a product of everything you have experienced your likes and dislikes and as and that's arguably, arguably your soul all right and really you know they say nurture but your spirit which is within you determines you know the onset of your of that nurture that you're gonna encounter, okay, so on and so forth. It's it's like it's hand in hand because, for example, if you're Israelite, you're fine tuned to be um, a servant of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Even if you're wicked, if even if you're of the two thirds, it's gonna be some trait as it speaks of Romans, the first chapter. There's gonna be some form of godliness within you, and you're gonna be directed to do so. Now, if you're Edomite. You're going to be fine in fine tune with wickedness, all right? So that's nothing to do with nature and nurture. I mean, that's nothing to do with nurture. But obviously, it, it, even if you wanted to include nurture, look, I mean, in, with dealing with um, Jake, if the most, they could be nurtured in the most grimiest of, um, of um, experiences. But guess what? If that man has a as as a, a impeccable spirit, one of the elect, there's nothing in terms of his 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 surroundings, his environment.
that's gonna basically penetrate through to that spirit. All right. So it shows you they they faltered on that. All right. Uh, your soul is you. It's your beliefs. It's your values. All right. Which is really where it is. You know. And that's something you can't clone. So imagine now that you've got a chip and that chip has been collecting all of your personal details, all of your learning, and effectively becomes your soul. Now, this, this is if Esau is in the car, man, man. Yeah, that's some shit. You hear what he's saying? Uh, quickly read this. Hebrews 12 and 16, least there be any fornicator or profane person, profane meaning outside the temple, all right? That is Esau, he's outside of the temple, meaning he's not in the jurisdiction of anything holy, anything sanctified, anything righteous, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, because what, he lacked the key ingredient, being faith, all right? That's why he sold his birthright for a carnal thing, sustenance to eat. He sold his birthright, man. You know, and that shows you as well his traits because, I mean, sure, you know, my brother asked me for my birthright. I'd be like, yo, bro, just piece me off a little piece of that bread, man. And don't worry about that birthright, man. But he was really, he's like, what profit is it to me? He's like, I'm about to die. He didn't take it, man. So he didn't see the, the worth in it, but Jacob did. He understood the worth of it. And ultimately, he was fulfilling prophecy. That's why he was fine. Again, that's why his spirit was um, preset to deal with the circumstances he was in, in that manner. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought carefully with tears. Now, these, these are, again, him... This is a form of him searching, you know, carefully with tears. Because obviously the blessing is to live forever, you know, to enjoy the earth forever. So if Esau has the ability to live forever in his carnal mind with all the weaponry and the technology and his, his rapid enhancements in technology, in his mind he's saying, if I can live long enough, I'll establish a technology so superior that I can't be taken out of power. All right? So I read none. Um, it may sound ridiculous, but you may be able to take the chip out and put it in another body and live forever. It's not actually that ridiculous, is it? But the tech chief warns of other problems with which with microchipping and says it will it, it will make it possible to be spied on twenty four seven. Yeah, that's that's basically the um, you know as they say pros and cons. That's the in. The, to some people won't be a con because in their mind they say look man if I ain't got nothing to hide I don't mind them spying on me but then it's really dealing with the technology of this society of how, how it's going anyway and the laws of the system is more or less they can make you a criminal regardless of your intentions not to be a criminal alright because these laws they can they basically can manipulate them and set them out as any uh, any way they see fit. Basically, he also warns of people, uh, warns of people hacking people's chips and making them susceptible to crime. Saying, "What will happen to individuals when their body chip is hacked? Identifications could be stolen without the individual be even being aware it has happened. It could mean that you are cloned without even knowing." it by a hacker and they show you in that movie of which I've mentioned quite a lot it's a very good movie it's only like 17 minutes long but it's a good movie man uh, it's worth a watch alright plurality the fact of state of being plural so which I believe is uh, of double you know relating to more than one so even more than one, so a, a multitude, all right? So, um, plurality, let's see. Yeah, it came out 2012, a good movie, worth a watch, man. 
and you can find it on YouTube, right, right there. Oh, so just check it out. It's worth a watch, man. Dealing with the same uh, problem that was presented um, in this article. All right. So hackers and thieves being able to track the movements of people and to enable both digital and physical theft. All right. So if you got a lot of um, credits or currency on your chip then you know you're going to be a target for hacking our home security being breached whilst hackers know we are on holiday or at work is a risk too far why would we even want this information to run risk of hacking so there you go there it is man you know this is the time we're in so um with that man i pray you're edified shalom